feel weird that I probably would have passed up the city of Abilene, Kansas, not knowing that it was the birthplace of one of the great presidents of our country. So, thankfully, there are always brown signs off the highway letting you know you're about to miss something cool. Brown is a good color. State parks and monuments and all sorts of cool stuff. So, this is the place of meditation. Looks like it's uh, under some remodel of some sort, possibly. So I think it does more than just sit there looking turquoise, but cool. Here we have the place of meditation. Nice big stained glass windows. Some graphics on the wall here, it says, The real fire within the builders of America was faith. Faith in a provincial God whose hands supported and guided them. Faith in themselves as the children of God. Faith in their country and its principles that proclaim man's right to freedom and justice. Humility must always be the portion of any man who receives a claim earned in blood of his followers and sacrifices of his friends. Guide Hall Address, London, June 12, 1945. And Every gun made, every warship launched, every rocket fired signifies in the final sense of theft from those who hunger and are not fed, those who are cold and are not clothed. This is not the way of life at all. Under the cloud of threatening war, it is humanity hanging from a cross of iron. The Chance for Peace Address, Washington, D.C., April 16, 1953. quiet in here. I'm all alone. Who'd have thought? Dwight D. Eisenhower died 1969. Dowd Dwight Eisenhower died 1921. And Mamie Dowd Eisenhower died 1979. 